Most households in rural Zimbabwe rely on insufficient, low intensity and often high compromising energy sources, notably wood for cooking and space heating, candles or paraffin for lighting. Rural households bear the burden of collecting and using biomass, which seriously compromises their time and capacity to undertake other activities. For many of the households, it becomes increasingly difficult to satisfy their daily domestic energy requirements. Biogas is a concept that is not widely known or taken up in Zimbabwe. Biogas, it is highly flammable and can be used for cooking, heating and lighting. Biogas systems use bacteria to break down wet organic matter like animal dung, human sewage or food waste. This produces biogas which is a mixture of methane and carbon dioxide. Typically, a wheelbarrow is used to transport the fresh dung from the pen to the digester. The loading of the digester is done through a small inlet at the surface level. SNV is committed to support the development of a national biogas program in Zimbabwe. SNV is involved in this biogas program with four stakeholders who are HIVOS, Minister of Energy and Power Development, Minister of Agriculture Mechanization and Irrigation Development, and Rural Electrification Agency. Biogas is an effective alternative source of energy. It is a clean, renewable source of energy, and it makes use of waste. HIVOS views energy as an indispensable source of development. We've been actually one of the organizations which are partnering on the Zimbabwe domestic biogas uh, program. And for us, we think it's, it's critical because if you look at our energy situation in Zimbabwe, not everyone is um, linked to your grid electricity. This is the power which is generated in Kariba. The indoor burning of fossil fuels leads to a decrease of air quality. The use of a biogas addresses issues related to poor air quality and will lead to healthier living conditions and reducing the daily workload. Mudengezi and Kahari are rural households in Domboshawa. They are using biogas for their domestic energy needs. Their experience with biogas has seen an improved quality of life. Manaka <laughs> porridge. water valve. I don't know if you have a system that is working on the system. One thousand six hundred. Barbara Rosa can't work with Tengamitrio. Never knows what Batsrapa can get to Shivaka and Bazo Chira, 
kuti ototenga parafini kuti ugoshandisa kana vane vachikorongwa asina mukano kuti vaverenga nekuti light ray parafini hari hasoona asi hezvino vatoone mukano kuverenga nekuti light ray biogas rinonyatsovhenika riri bright kupinda ma lights e parafini According to Zimbabwe regulations a pig farmer should have a waste management plan and not have effluent that runs above the ground or is released into water bodies the pig wastes to most of us appears to be uh, useless but in our case we have turned that useless product into a very useful product we have come up with a biogas digester uh, in our case uh, we used to use infrared lamps to warm our pig less but currently we are now using biogas we um, are selling this idea to all the other pig producers schools like Sandringham High are utilizing a biogas digester to supplement their energy needs ria is now also installing a biogas units in the schools and again, we think that will complement the Zimbabwe domestic biogas program and also increase the learning because the parents and communities will see this operating out there. And we think it will also inspire them, you know, to, 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 to go for this technology. An important component of the ZDBP is to identify as many uses for the gas as possible and for local manufacturing and supply of biogas appliances. Currently, we are the sole provider of the stoves. Initially, they were being imported from China, Cambodia. So by locally producing them, we are no longer exporting jobs, but we have brought jobs to the local people. We have trained other, other builders, other fabricators in Luweyo and Arari. And these fabricators will be also producing the stoves for the local market. Take old water bottle. There has been a coordinated approach to develop capacity by continuous training of masons, supervisors, promoters, extension staff and biogas technical staff. We have been trained within the Zimbabwe Domestic Biogas Program to be trainers, be trainers of builders, be trainers of, 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 of quality controllers, be trainers of, of users of biogas. So we have been capacitated uh, within the program to do trainings at whatever level. Through training workshops, masons locally known for the quality of their workmanship were introduced in the construction of biogas technology. Zimbabwe domestic biogas program. Biogas plant, Saka. The tension area could be another pet of training. Who are for people there? Chano Wakari may reach a consum community manager for a purpose a demonstration. Put a canaya shanda, those Pasakovaki Rovam. In Panchas to get on around it, Chano did so and one which he got at us in Canadian new one digging down a source of income. Never much on the Banango at this so it a job creation. With the latent market for small-sized household biodigesters, a strong political will to develop the biogas sector in Zimbabwe, the potential agricultural benefits of biogas and financial benefits, the use of biogas in Zimbabwe is highly recommended as a clean and renewable source of energy. <laughs> I highly recommend the use of biogas, especially for rural households, as it is a clean source of energy which will replace firewood in cooking and lighting. And for me, really, I've seen now a, a biogas unit operating, and I'm sure you will confess if you go there that uh, you say, Where were we all these years not really installing digesters? Mm -hmm.